If you or your company need help with marketing and PR, our next guests have a few suggestions. Here with tips on going social are the co-founders of Social Fly, Courtney Spritzer and Stephanie Abrams. Welcome to Arise 360. Thanks for oh, having thank us. You. So you have to tell us about this exciting company, Social Fly. What does it do and how do you get people involved? Sure, so we're a social media marketing agency here in New York City, and we specialize in creating these dynamic social media strategies for different types of businesses in the fashion, beauty, and hospitality industry. What does it mean to be fully digital? for companies, for individuals? So it means a lot to be fully digital for companies and even individuals. Uh, and what it means is first you should have a website, you should have a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and you should have a reason for using those platforms. And you should know what, what to post, how often, how to reach your target market. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you can do strategically to achieve your goals. So do you all help companies establish all that stuff and it, get them working and moving? Because what if they don't know how to or have never even tweeted before? Yeah. How do you get them to that level? Because there are a lot of people who don't really know how to use Twitter properly. Mm -hmm. properly. Absolutely. So we're the experts that they come to. So so many clients, they come to us and they're like, help, we don't know what to do. We're <laughs> yeah. so overwhelmed. We have social media overload. It so can they, be overwhelming Absolutely, for sure. absolutely. Yeah. So they come to us and we put together an entire strategy for their business or their brand. So for example, uh, if it's a fashion company that we work with, we want to highlight their clothing and what they're offering, drive traffic to their website. So we figure out what all of their goals are and then how can we accomplish their goals using different social media platforms. So as you probably know, Instagram is huge right now. Instagram mm -hmm. is huge. So if you're a fashion company, you have to be using Instagram. Otherwise, how is everyone going to find out about your latest trends and how are you going to sell them? Yeah, Because there are a lot of people who don't understand the importance of going digital and using social media? Yeah, a lot of people just don't get it. And really, it's a way for you to interact with your customers and your fans and really create a personality behind the brand and showcase things that go on that people typically don't see when they're going to a store and trying on your clothes or your jewelry. Mm. Uh, so it's a, it's a way to give people access to things that they usually can't see. Okay, so if someone is starting a company, they want to get more social, what are some of each of your top tips for social media PR and marketing? So the first tip I would give is to figure out what your actual goals are. So mm -hmm. once you know what your goals are, so if you're a new restaurant and you want to bring new customers or guests into your restaurant, you need to figure out how to reach those people. So is it posting, you know, really beautiful photos of your food, running a contest or a promotion? So you really have to break through the clutter now on social media because yeah. there's so many tweets happening and Instagram posts so and on Facebook. Exactly. So you have to come up with a campaign or an idea that's really going to break through the clutter and get people excited to come to your restaurant or try on your new clothes or go to your website. Yeah. What if you're just bad at taking pictures? Because some of the people <laughs> I follow on Instagram, their sure. photos are just not appealing at all. Do you have to hire a professional for that? Yes, or you can hire Socialfly. So that's what we do for our clients. Yeah. So we have an in-house photographer who will have take photos for uh, your business or brands. We do that all of the time. Mm -hmm. Because it, there's nothing worse than going on someone's Instagram account and seeing a bad photo. That looks terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. So, Courtney, besides bad photos, what's the biggest mistake companies make when it comes to social media? The biggest mistake, there are a lot of mistakes, actually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but one of them is actually <laughs> not responding to people that are reaching out to you. Uh, people want to feel heard, especially your customers. So the worst thing that you can do is not respond to a question or complaint on Twitter. You know, these are people that visited your restaurant or bought a product from you. So you want to make sure that you validate their opinions mm -hmm. and respond to them quickly. Yeah. A lot of companies actually do it well. Okay, mm. we have a time for a few more. You said there's a lot. What, what about you? What are the biggest mistakes you see people make? So another thing that's really important is that a lot of companies will schedule out their content in advance. And then what happens is if there is, you know, an event that happens, like a tragic event that happens, and you have content that goes out that says, we're having the best day here at this restaurant today, and something terrible and has happened in the world. And celebrity just died, and that's oh. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So you have to really remember that social media really has to be in real 
time. Of course, you can plan out campaigns and different things you want to do to promote on your different social media channels, yeah. but you have to be really cognizant of things that are happening in the world and act appropriately uh, as things come up. So that makes sense. keeping yeah. in real time is very important. What about brand messaging? That's very important, sticking to your message. How do you figure out what your message is? So we work with companies and the first thing that we do is what is your messaging? What is your brand voice? What is your tone? And then once we've established those things, we'll put together a whole content plan that goes along with their goals. And some of the things that we see companies do that aren't the best things to do is be overly promotional and salesy. Mm. You really want to use social media to be social and to show people your personality and your, your brand's personality. More organic. And be more subtle, yeah. be more subtle. Okay, we want you to be subtle not at all, really. Just <laughs> drop your handles for us. Tell us where we can find you. <laughs> sure, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at SocialFly, uh, and you can see our personal Instagram at Steph Jelly Rooms and at Court, Court Spritzer. Great, like we'll it. check you guys yeah. out. Thank you, you so much. Yeah, now it's time to go social. Us. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> and we'll be right back with more Rise 360.